I don't know what's next, but I am done trying to control everything and take matters into my own hands. Today, I choose to surrender everything to you. All my hopes, dreams, and desires. Show me the right path to go down, Lord. Forgive me for putting anything else above you and thinking I need anything else but you. I know that the moment I truly surrender is the moment you can lead. I trust you. In Jesus' name, amen. area of my life and so God it's yours now it's your territory I need you to take this territory because I don't have I can't hold this anymore it's too heavy I'm done trying to control my life. So I literally just took down like all these pictures on my prayer, my my prayer board. I just took them all down. I put I took down like my New York Times bestseller, like I don't know. I felt the Lord tell me that I needed to take this down. That I needed to just have him up there. Cause I don't know. I just I'm getting to a point where like I just need Jesus. Like I don't need to be a New York Times bestseller. I don't need to have a husband. I don't need to have all these dreams happen. Like I legit, I just need Jesus actually. Like I, I need him. I need him with every fiber of my being. He is everything. There's kind of freedom in taking this down because it's, it's surrender. It's like, God, make me whatever you want me to be. Like I'll, I'll do whatever you want me to do. I'll go wherever you want me to go. Like, I don't know what's best for me. Like, I don't. So Lord, lead me. Maybe it's when we give up our dreams that we are able to finally like dream his dreams for our lives. Maybe our dreams are his dreams, but there's, I think only one way to tell and really know is if you just lay it down. And I feel like I'm in this season where like, I'm just being stripped. I'm just being like stripped bare, like lay it all down. Lay it all down. Do not cling to anything. Cause I'm not the God of my own life. And when we make these prayer, when we make these manifestation boards, that's really what this is. When we make anything where it's like, we are deciding what our life will look like. I don't know if that honors God. I don't. I think when we actually lose our lives, for the Lord, that's when we find it. That's when we, when we surrender, that's when he leads us. It's not when we're clinging to these things that God leads us. It kind of feels freeing, like just give me Jesus. Just give me Jesus. He's all I want. He's all I need. He's all I need. He's the breath in my lungs, you know? Like, he's everything. He's everything. So now I need to get a lot of pictures of Jesus up on here, like a lot. And yes, I still have my goals up here because I love goals, okay? That's not gonna change about me. I love goals. I'll always have goals, okay? God, you're not gonna change that about me, but 
Will I have pictures of a New York Times bestseller list on my prayer board? No, I won't. I'm not going to do that anymore. Even though my book is coming out in like a couple days. So I feel like for just the last week, I've been so focused on surrender and I've been like, okay, God, open hands, open hands, open hands, open hands, open hands. I don't want to cling to anything. I literally took down everything off of my prayer board that had anything to do with not Jesus. Like just him is up there and like some Bible, like some Bible pictures. Y'all, I've just been so focused on surrender. Abba is now leading me to start praying for direction. So the beautiful thing with surrender, I actually wrote into my journal, is that the moment that we surrender is the moment God can lead. So when you are holding on to your life, God cannot really speak to you. When you are like, God, I actually let go of my plans, my vision for my life, the way I thought things would look right now, I let it go. Do you realize that is the moment that the Lord can say, okay, she's ready for me to lead her. She's ready for me to speak. She's ready for me to take her into that next season. It is literally because, fam, there's also dudes listening. I see you. I'm so grateful you're here. We got to surrender in order for God to lead us. We have to start with surrender. So how does God lead you? How do you hear the voice of God? How do you, how do you know what God is leading you to do next in your season of waiting, in your season of like just being in this in-between? You know how I'm going to do it? I'm going to fast and I'm going to pray, period. Period. I know you're not supposed to share this because it is meant to be private, but I do want to share this just for the sake of being a witness and being an example and showing an example of how to actually do this. So I'm not trying to toot my horn or make you think that like, I'm this religious cool person for doing this and saying this. But right now, as we speak, I'm doing a fast with some of my friends. We're doing like a friend fast because we're all like fasting and praying over things. We want to hold each other accountable to not eat something. I am fasting and I am praying and I am making it my aim to fast and pray and just be like, God, lead me. And the beautiful thing about fasting and prayer, one, if you're just giving up food, that's a diet. Fasting with prayer can lead to so much breakthrough with God leading you in what you need to do next. When you fast and when you pray and you say, God, I want nothing else but you. Like the way that you feel this closeness to the Lord, even as we're talking, guys, I feel God's spirit so close to me as we are talking. I have been fasting and praying all day. And I felt God tell me to say to you guys, like, if you want that, if you want to see a move of God, you have to sacrifice. You have to, you have to just like, honestly, kill your flesh and say, I am going to seek God. Even if that means that I don't eat lunch or that I don't eat the pizza, you know, like God is worth that. He is worth that. And some of y'all are in such a low spot. You like literally don't have any direction for your life. You feel so lost. Like this is your sign to fast and pray because that could lead to your breakthrough. You will feel God's presence so close. You will hear his voice. You will know what you need to do next. Your spirit man will come alive. So what I'm going to be doing the next couple of days is I'm going to fast. I'm going to pray. I'm going to seek the Lord. I'm going to say, God, have your way. Like, have your way. Whatever you want me to do, whatever you want me to let go of, whatever you don't want me to do, whatever you want me to, to start, I'm yours. I'll do it. Send me. That is my posture right now. And I encourage you to do the same thing. This is where, like, this is where the true 
the true disciples come out to play is the are the people who say Lord no matter what it is I will follow you in Jesus name Hey, I just want you to know, I have a book coming out. If you're struggling to trust God in a waiting season, you can get the first 30 devos of my new book, The Joy of the In-Between, a free bonus Bible study on what to do while you wait on God, and join in on live Zoom Ask Me Anything calls and book club calls by joining the launch team. Just click the link in the description below, pre-order the book, and fill out the form, and you can join the launch team today. All right, back to the program. So Allie and I are having a fasting sleepover because she's also fasting. This weather is like coming down. It is literally thundering <laughs> so bad. And I didn't even think we were gonna make it here. I'm telling you, did you guys just see that lightning? No, we can do it. We're probably gonna pray some more. I think we could pray a little bit more. I can pray more. Um, can pray more. I'm vlogging, yes. I told the vlog that we're fasting because this is going to be up when we're done. So it's really just showing our experience. I was vlogging earlier too, actually. I, I Wait, Ali, do you want me to make tea? I can make tea for both of us. Vacuum? Yes, I can. Totally I wanted can. to vacuum earlier today and I just never got to it. Guys, we're having a slumber party. We're having a prayer. We're having Fasting and prayer slumber party. It's something I highly recommend. Strength is in numbers, okay? There's a Ethanisia yeah. plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> I really do love ginger. I think I'm gonna do ginger. Oh, I don't want ginger. <sighs> from my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Does everyone know we're fasting? Yeah, I told them. Oh, okay. Because you're not supposed to say when you're fasting, but this vlog is legit fasting. going to be up like three weeks from now. <laughs> yeah, so we've already fasted. We've already seen the vision. We're really struggling. Because we're going up and we're down really hill right now. We should have drove, but it is really like a five minute walk. <laughs> we look like we haven't eaten. We haven't eaten in like 30 hours. No, more than that. We've had uh, like juice and bone broth, which by the way, bone broth sucks. Yeah, no, it tastes like Don't turkey. drink it. It's it literally like what so nasty. Like. I just want to know, is it salty? I'll like it if it's salty. Okay. Try it. You're not even going to give me like a, what does it taste like? Try it. Why does it smell like wet dog? It literally smells like wet dog. Go try it. Cardboard. <laughs> no, cardboard is a is a compliment. Tell me what it really is. It tastes like what like turkey smells like. <laughs> like, like like ew. Like raw turkey. <laughs> it tastes like, like if raw turkey was a drink, it'd be this drink. That's really bad. It needs salt. But if it was hot raw turkey <laughs> drink. <laughs> I have just a little bit of my bone broth left. It's warm at this point. Yeah. It's warm turkey juice, but I'm gonna make myself drink it in three, two, one. You got it. You got it, Ash. Go, babe. Chug. For Christ. Do it for Christ. Oh, you got it. You got a little more left. You got a little more left. Come on, for Jesus. <laughs> You got it. He's so proud of you. 
not. He's so proud. Oh my gosh. You have no idea. <laughs> He's so proud of you. Praise the Lord. I hate you that. You did it, Ash. It's so gross. <laughs> hey, but why are we fasting and praying, Allie? Because we want to literally deny our flesh and only rely on God. Because we are not going to satisfy anything other than our spirit right now. I think it's really good for also just like um, discipline, right? Like it really is teaching us discipline because I, especially yesterday, I noticed how many times I just put things in my mouth because I'm bored and I just want to taste stuff. And I felt myself wanting to do that. Like I wanted to have wow. like a cheese stick and it's like, it is really also teaching you discipline. Right now, Ali and I are praying for a lot of like oh, specific like decisions. Fast. Yeah. and breakthrough and like we need breakthrough and like honestly le having god lead us in different areas of our lives we're like we're just like lord how you yeah. know how do we get there yeah. like we have these huge visions and dreams but we just genuinely are like how do we get there yeah i've been just praying so much in this fast about direction on like so many different things yep and so it makes it worth it. Like even before this, we were praying together and it was like- Oh my gosh, you just feel him so much more. It's crazy. Like, it's I literally crazy. like wept because I just felt him literally so close to us as we were just simply praying this morning. It's really it worth wild. it. It's it, worth it. It's wild, yeah. As opposed to like when a normal routine, a normal day, a normal Which breakfast- Which I still could get wrecked by the Holy Spirit. Yes. Like I still would, but yeah, it's different. Like I feel like even when we get in our quiet time separately with him today, I'm gonna be a mess. Dude, same. Uh, I want to be a mess. I just wanna feel him. I wanna hear his voice. Oh. The Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> he has a bunch of